Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And today, a drag act had to be, as we say, escorted from the premises by police. Uh, this was in a library where he was doing a readathon and getting to know you with children as young as three. Meanwhile, outside, there was a lot of protesting parents. Now, inside were some woke parents who felt happy exposing their three year old children to paraphilia and fetishized women dressing by a man who seems to want to get close to children. It's not worrying at all, is it? Anyway, let's look at the article. Police are forced to escort drag queen to safety after protesters storm story hour event at library for three to 11 year olds and tell woke parents he's probably teaching their children that there are a hundred genders. Uh, Thames Valley police were called to protest around 25 people at 9.30 a.m. Protesters stormed a story hour event run for three to 11 year old children. Outside the library, they shouted at the woke parents as they walked into the ticketed event. Mr. Samuel, the drag act, uh, said he was overwhelmed with support from locals who came along and gave their support. Yeah, now one wonders about this. Why does a man who fetishises about dressing as a woman want to get involved with children? Drag acts are usually adult based, adult themed with adult humour. But this one seems determined to get close to children. And he is pointing out that he has an agenda, shall we say, and he's going to be pushing an agenda against children as young as three. And these woke parents are allowing this. Makes you wonder what kind of parents they are and whether they should actually have the children removed from them. Anyway, police were forced to escort a drag queen for safety after a group of protesters stormed the story hour event run for three to 11 year olds at the library. Thames Valley Police were called to a protest of around 25 people outside the library in Abbey Square in Reading. The, pro uh, the demonstrators claimed they turned up to protect children and shouted at woke parents who were probably teaching their children there are a hundred genders as they walked inside the ticket only event. Well of course it was ticket only. They don't want people just wandering in because that way they can't control what's said inside and it might have upset the drag queen, the fetishised a human adult male who likes to get close to children. Drag Queen Story Hour UK is a project run by 27 year old Sam, Sab Samuel who performs as Ada HD wearing multicoloured sequined outfits with a big red wig, a big red wig and heavy makeup. Mr Samuel is touring Britain across the summer with almost 70 events in 20 areas of the UK. One should check for child abuse in those areas. Now here we have a picture of uh, this Mr. Samuels. Um, it's not a very good picture, I think. It's in the paper, but it's not a very good picture. Uh, but what I'm going to say is, um, looking at that face, I'm thinking Medusa the Gorgon, number one. But is that something you want to introduce to a three-year-old child? Especially when he has a book with the word poo on it. Um, because I think we know what he is thinking will be covered in who it it seems to me that this could be uh, under certain circumstances allegedly uh, a very dangerous individual and some people would go so far as to say that he should perhaps be nowhere near children and should indeed be on a register but that's not for me to say uh, the group says the sessions teach inclusivity there we go it's a gender identity politics and agenda driven pushing the trans word to three year olds. And we wonder why there's so much misery, why this sort of thing is going up and why children are being herded towards sterility and down a one way street because these trans activists don't have like getting close to children. Now, there is a thing about paraphilia where one paraphilia leads to another and they are interlinked. Now I am not for one moment suggesting that this Mr. Samuels is in any way, shape or form a paedophile. However, he does have a fetish and he does enjoy dressing as a woman and putting on women's makeup. That is a paraphilia and there is well known documented academic signs and studies that show that they are related. So whilst he himself may not be one, 
it isn't half suspicious, particularly when you look at the way he likes to get close to children. And yet parents are taking their kids to see this man. Worrying? I think so. Anyway, I'm going to come up because it's uh, like I say, it's not a big piece. Just wanted to, to put it out there. I think any man who wants to dress as a woman and still maintains himself as a man, I mean, meat and two veg and that, but he'll dress himself as a woman to go into, shall we say, a safe space where there may be young girls present. That man is a threat. It's a threat to children. And so, by extension, any man who gets his jollies by dressing as a woman must be seen in a suspicious manner as being a potential threat to children. Now, this performer has arranged 70 performances so that he can get close to children 70 times and push what is recognised as a dangerous agenda that leads to sterility of children. And that's assuming that that's all it is and that there's nothing worse. So next time he performs, I would like to see more than 25 people outside. I would love to read that there was 125 people or 200 people or so many in fact that he was never performing with children again and that he might get the message. Let's hope. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment and until next time, stay safe, stay well, stay away from people like that and goodbye.